tell you something. No, closer, closer. Okay, that, that's way too close. I'm not comfortable. I'm here to warn you about three chemical compounds which have a reputation for being real bad acids. And the one you think is least dangerous isn't safe at all. Hydrochloric acid. It's been known to corrode metals like nobody's bismuth. Check this out. Hey guys, thanks for watching Science with Mike. Today we're going to talk about the three strongest acids that you'll run into. Uh, what's an acid? First of all, it's called a proton donor because it always produces H plus in water. H plus is when a hydrogen atom loses an electron, which is also a proton. And that's where pH comes from, but that's for another day. Today we're going to study the three acids and what they do to things when they leave a destructive past, I guess we'll say. So why don't we just go ahead and enough learning for now. Let's put some aluminum foil in hydrochloric acid. If there was ever a time to wear safety glasses, it's right now when we're handling the concentrated forms of, hydro of uh, the acids. We're going to start with hydrochloric acid, which is actually probably the safest one because you can't get it to be a concentration greater than 40%. And that's because it's a gas and it actually comes out of solution and is no longer dissolved. It's really good at eating up acids because it breaks through the oxide layer of them. And that's what we're gonna do right now. aluminum chloride. Aluminum is actually pretty reactive once you strip the oxide layer off of it. And that's what that grayish stuff is, is aluminum chloride. And that thing is hot, hot, hot. Well, I guess that aluminum got foiled. <laughs> Next, second on the protonoic podium of power is nitric acid. It's not only a strong acid, but it's an oxidizer. Check it out as it blatantly destroys government property. Next we're going to dissolve a penny in nitric acid. Don't tell the government. I don't think you're supposed to deface government property. I don't know. So we're going to, when you oxidize something, it's basically stripping electrons off. Copper zero is the metal, the orangish metal. Copper plus one is when you take off one electron, it's got a green color. And then when you strip two electrons off, it's blue. And you'll see that as we dissolve a penny in nitric acid. But first, I want to tell you about one of my favorite pieces of copper. The Statue of Liberty used to look like this, but you know what happened to her? She oxidized after the French gave her to us because she was out there in the elements. She's the color of copper one now. That's what you'll notice when we react the penny. I don't know if that was a practical joke that the French played on us. You know, they knew it was going to oxidize all the time. They were just going away in their boats like, ha ha, enjoy your oxidation. I don't know. I don't know what they think. They have berets and the croissant. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna pour some nitric acid really carefully, make sure I got it secure on the base. I'm gonna put in a penny. I'm gonna put in two pennies. 
I put my two cents in. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's terrible. That's nitrogen dioxide, NO2. It is really poisonous to breathe. So good thing we're in the fume hood. You might see the green starting to occur. But the baddest acid of all, sulfuric acid. It's not only a strong acid, but it's a dehydrating agent. And what it does to sugar isn't very sweet. Check this out. This is sugar, and that's sugar. And you know what it has? Lots of these OHs, which are uh, basically the, what we call functional group of alcohols and things that dissolve in water. But when you hit these with an H+, they'll become water, and sugar is dehydrated, especially by sulfuric acid. Let's do that right now. Sulfuric acid, nasty. Once you get it on, it, you, get it on you, you're already burned. But if you do get an acid on you, lots and lots of water. All right, here we go. Sulfuric acid into sugar. You'll start to see it turn brown and even black as the carbon's formed. Whoa! <laughs> now look, you take it from me. If you see any of these three bad acids, you protect yourself with safety glasses and protective gloves. I got a confession to make. I'm not even a real police officer. I just play one on social media. All right, hey, thanks for watching Science with Mike. It's time for me to bounce out of here.